Oh, hello, uh, I'm Katsumi Araki from Tor Engineering. Uh, I'm actually the last speaker of today, so I'm, I know that you are waiting the character party, so I will do my, I will do my best uh, to make the short presentation. <coughs> so uh, we are provider of the equipment maker, and I will give you the presentation about the master master process today. And there is the current application uh, of the micro LEDs. So as you know already, so the small display, AR, VR, and watch application, and the middle display, the automotive, the transparent glass, and right size display, uh, public information display, like that. And the major players, so AO, Inrax, the Asian makers, and as you know already, the b -Rare, the Starbucks companies is active. <coughs> the, for this application, uh, the major player uh, is using the mainly three mass transfer method, the major. Uh, one is the pick and place method. Um, second is the small laser transfer method, the mainly for the repair process. And last one is the line laser uh, transfer. So they, has their, they have their uh, advantage and disadvantage uh, at the same time. So yeah, uh, which is the best, so uh, we are not sure today. <coughs> And Tore, we, Tore Engineering is developing the uh, spore laser transfer and the uh, stamp pick and press method. <coughs> uh, this is the actual test experiment of the uh, pick and press method. So you can see the left side, or oh, the no LEDs, uh, so you can see the surface of the stamp. So I mean the before pickup. And second picture, so uh, you can see the LED on the stamp. I mean, the, it's after pickup process. <coughs> and then last picture, you can see the LED is brightening on the substrate, uh, I mean, the after press and bonding process. So the pick and press and bonding process is the successful at this slide. <coughs> and this is our, our experiment about the spot laser transfer. <coughs> now we are collaborating some uh, release material makers uh, to seek the more trustable repair pro uh, transfer process. And uh, you can see the uh, LEDs on the COC1 carrier run, so that is still not uh, transferred. And next slide, so uh, next picture, so uh, LEDs on the carrier two, I mean the LED is transferred to the next interposer carrier. So by using the, these technologies, uh, we have already achieved uh, small production and the prototype products. And so you can see the RGB test substrate lighting. <coughs> and also we are trying to seek more trustable, more uh, believable process. Uh, so that we are collaborating with the Future Display Institute so in the Xiamen University from China. Uh, our full lineup machine is installed in the in the rubble in the research centers. So, <coughs> uh, if you come to the here the place, so you can see the edge latest technology and the tool. Uh, I already explained the uh, we have already achieved a small production, but uh, according to the this the focus the research companies your. So we are, today we are still in very early stage. So what to do, uh, we, uh, we, we, we achieve the uh, actual mass production. So we have several challenges. <coughs> so the main challenges is the, how to handle the uh, right size substrate to reduce the cost. For example, G4.5 or G6 like that. Or uh, of course we have to uh, achieve the high throughput transfer, uh, the product higher productivity. And also we have to care the uh, repair process at the same time. So we will focus the mass transfer process at this rate. <coughs> so today, uh, I'd like to propose the new process uh, for the mass production. So the process is micro LED in package with the panel level package semiconductor process. So uh, I, I call the chip first process with the panel level package. So let me explain the process pro. The first uh, LEDs on the COC1 carrier one. So 